The UK faces a constitutional crisis if Theresa May does not publish the full legal advice on her Brexit deal on Monday, Labour has warned. The PM says the advice is confidential, but some MPs think ministers do not want to admit it says the UK could be indefinitely tied to EU customs rules. Sam Jaima, who quit the government on Friday, said releasing the advice was key to restoring trust in politics. Attorney General Geoffrey Cox will make a statement about it later. He is set to publish a reduced version of the legal advice at 1400 hours GMT, despite calls from MPs from all parties to publish a full version. MPs say this will not not respect a binding Commons vote last month, which required the government to lay before Parliament any legal advice in full. His statement to the House of Commons will be followed by five days of debate on the proposed Brexit deal. Home Secretary Sajid Javid has dismissed speculation that the final vote on Mrs May's deal, due on 11 December, could be delayed, saying he didn't think there was any chance of that. Speaking on ITVs this morning, the Prime Minister urged MPs to hold their nerve and get Brexit over the line suggesting Parliament had a duty to do what people asked us to do by taking the UK out of the EU. This is not any old vote, this is delivering on what people voted for in the referendum and it is important for us as politicians to remember that, she said. Ahead of the five days of debate on the deal, which begin on Tuesday, Labour is planning to join forces with other parties, including the DUP, which keeps Mrs May in power to initiate contempt of Parliament proceedings unless the government backs down on publishing the full legal advice. Shadow Brexit Secretary Sir Keir Starmer told Sky News, if they don't produce the advice, this will be a collision course between the government and Parliament. His shadow cabinet colleague Barry Gardner told the BBC's Andrew Marshall the Prime Minister faced a very serious constitutional crisis if she refused, and the only answer was a general election.